Ladles and jelly spoons, if you like scaredy cats and people that make weird facial expressions, then Lizard Girl Gamer is the channel for you. I'm Ariel Wickland, an author and entrepreneur of arielwickland.com. Link is found in the description below. And today, I'm gonna play From Next Door. It was made by Space Zeta during the 2016 Pixel Horror Jam and can be found for download on itch.io. However, I do have a link in the description below for your convenience. Now, pull up a seat and sit on the floor. Let's play From Next Door. Now, just make sure I got everything. I'm like recording this time, right? I did start this video and it was about 17 minutes in before I realized I wasn't recording my video, just my audio. So, double checking. Yep, that's recording. That's recording. All right, from next door, here we go. This game is best played with headphones. Doi! Every horror game is played with headphones. All right, Matsuda-san, I hope you enjoy your new home. If anything comes up, call me. And don't forget, in order to move in real life, you do have to use the arrow keys and press enter or space or Z to interact or pause for escape, skip through the text as control, and sprint to shift. Kenji Amaru! All right. Well, home sweet home. I'm not looking forward to unpacking, though. No one looks forward to unpacking. No one. No one looks forward to packing things. No one wants to unpack things. All right. So let's see. I got a telephone. Right? Yeah, I got the telephone. Let's call me. Hello. Mom, hey, it's me. Oh, hi, honey. I'm so glad you called. Did you finish moving into your new house? Mostly, yeah. There's a lot of unpacking that needs to be done, though. I'd come over to help you if I could, but why did you have to move so far away? It's fine, Mom. I'll get around to it eventually. I just have to get a couple of things done first. Things? Work things? Yeah? Nyami, you're supposed to be on a break from work, remember? I know, I know, but there are just a couple of favors for some guys at the company. It's important, but... They won't take long. Don't worry. I worry about you, Nami. I just don't overwork yourself, okay? Really, Mom? Don't worry. All right. Well, how's the house then? You said it was surprisingly cheap. Is something wrong with it? Not that I've seen so far, but I'm keeping an eye out. I still can't believe I got such a nice house for such cheap rent. Wait, it isn't in one of those shady neighborhoods, is it? It's not, don't worry. Good, good. You and Dad can come stay with me when you're in town. There's plenty of room. All right, then. I'm already making travel plans. Okay, well, I should get back to unpacking now, Mom. I'll talk to you later. I take a care, Nami. Oh, your father's here. Yeah, yeah, Nami knows how to save energy. Oh, fine. Your dad says he loves you and not to forget to turn the lights off when you leave a room. Always. I'll call you guys some other time. Click. Okay. Now, I do have a purse on the table. Wallet. Credit cards, money, nothing much. Credit cards and money is everything. How dare you say it's not much? It's your purse. Go through it. Of course. Work ID. It's your work ID. Nami Matsuda, software design. Ooh, I'm a software designer. You're currently on break from work. That's why you decided to use this time to move into your new place. Well, that's nice. It's your purse, go through it. Heck yeah, we're gonna go through my own purse again. Faruka Housing Kenji Amara. Faruka Housing owns this house that you're renting and you owe it to Amara-san for getting you such a nice deal. Thank you, Amara-san. Hopefully you did not just end up killing me by getting me this house. Yes, um, let's look at more. Cell phone. Your phone is not here. That's right, Aizawa had it confiscated because she thought it would keep you from getting in touch with anyone at work and stress-related. Her words. Not like you don't have an actual phone, though, or even email. I know, right? Come on. 21st century. We got all kinds of things. It's your purse. Go through it. Heck yeah. And last thing looks like a lighter. It's your old lighter. 
Even though you've stopped smoking, you still keep this with you. Your mom would be disappointed in you if you started smoking again, though. Take the lighter? Yeah, we're gonna take that lighter. Obtain lighter! Alright. So, there wasn't much else in here, except I do like how it... You notice in the background for sound, they have the refrigerator running. It's just... It's an atmospheric sound to have for horror games when you're in the kitchen. It's not something I've really noticed with other games when I've been playing or listening to other Let's Players play. So I do like to point out those small, seemingly small things that make the games better. The door is locked. You have the keys. Unlock it. Heck yeah, we're gonna unlock that door. I got it. Wow, is that my shit? The closet is full of things the previous tenant left behind. Nope. This is all full of crap from the other tenant. You turd. You are a turd sandwich is what you are because this is supposed to be my house and you left all your turd things in this house. How dare you, turd sandwich. It's the light switch. Okay, it looks like I can't do anything with the light switches even though dad told me to be able to turn them off. But that's okay. Um, those are stairs. Those are stairs. Okay, so you notice, those are stairs. That's not a rug. I thought that was a rug for a long time, and I was wondering why I wasn't able to progress in the game until I found out those were stairs. You still need to unpack these. Okay. A handful of books left here by the previous tenant. Mathematics, volume 1 through 5, fishing manual. Why would I need a fishing manual? Why would the previous tenant need a fishing manual? What's this? You've already unpacked some of your clothes, at least. Okay, so I have a room. Just your old camera. You haven't taken any new photos in a while. Well, you should do that, Nami, while you're on your little break here. Come on. It's your computer. Read email? Yes. Aizua, don't overdo it. Hey, Matsuda. I heard you were moving. Why now of all times? You know this was supposed to be your stress-free break, right? Can't you go a day without doing something? Honestly, I don't know what to do with you. Don't overdo it, okay? Come back to work with a cool head. Ooh, looks like I did something at work. I wonder what that was. In order for me to go on a stress-free break. Like, what did I do to, do to insinuate that I needed one of those? From Sanjo. So, Matsuda, you're on your break, right? You're lucky. Hey, since you have all of this free time, can I ask you a favor? Can you look over this code for me? It's, like, really important. I've sent it to you as an attachment. Thanks a lot! Ah! I hate people like that. Dude, do your own work. Don't push it off onto me. Especially when I'm supposed to be on a break. Like, you know, screw off. Warning anyone and all people. If I'm on a break, I need my break. The closet is empty. Okay. The door is locked. You have the keys. Unlock it. Heck yeah, we're gonna unlock it. It doesn't work. Is it the wrong key? You check the key. It's tagged as Tatami Room. That's weird. This was supposed to be the right key. Something else I want to point out too, I really do like that sound effect that they have going on in the background. I don't know if you've noticed it, but they have like the cars going by the windows and stuff. Really cool. It's really hard for me to tell, like being in my room with the headphones on, if this sounds that I'm hearing from outside my own window or if it's coming from the game. Like, I can't really tell, because it's pretty well done. That's weird, this was supposed to be the right key. You test the other keys just to make sure none of them work, though. Did Omura-san give me the wrong key? Maybe I should call him and ask. Oh, Omura-san is a boy. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna check out the bathroom now. You could see a reflection in the mirror. Oh good, I'm not a ghost. Check the cabinet under the sink. Yes. Bathroom supplies. Extra toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, deodorant spray. Your dad used to set bugs on fire with deodorant spray and a lighter when you were a child. So much so that your mom stopped buying these at home. Dude, that's the only way to kill bugs. The only way to kill spiders. You just gotta kill them with fire. Alright, anything over here? You don't need to use it right now. Toilet! If I didn't need to use it right now, I wouldn't have come to you for assistance. You don't feel like bathing. Don't tell me what I feel and don't feel, bathtub. Don't tell me that. My body, my feelings, my choice. Alright, so I think I'm pretty much done in the house. And... We got a weird looking building. Looks like a giant shed. 
So the house next to yours. Nothing seems particularly out of the ordinary about it. It's the same design as the other houses on the street, fitting perfectly in. However, you can't seem to shake the feeling that it looks out of place somehow. It takes a while for you to realize that it's probably because the house doesn't seem to have any windows. That's odd. I wonder who lives here. Probably a mole person or a worm. You have no business over there. Okay, so I can't go down the sidewalk. And oh, hi! Hi, random person. Oh, gosh. I'm probably just going to stick with my earlier accent. Oh, hello there. Hi. Yep, everyone's Minnesotan in my world. You don't happen to be the new tenant of this house, do you? Or is that Norwegian? Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. I am. Oh, wonderful! My name is Hane Honda. I live next door to you. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm Nami Matsuda. It's a wonderful to meet you, Matsuda-san. That house has been empty for quite a while now. It was about time someone moved in. Do you live by yourself? Ah, uh, yes, it's just me. Isn't it such a big house for just the one person? I live here with my husband. Our son lived with us, but he moved out some time ago. Well, I wasn't exactly looking for a house this big, but they made a nice offer. Yes, I heard that the price was going down after no one showed an interest in it. Do you know why? I was wondering that myself. Nothing in particular. <laughs> uh huh. Because the neighbors wouldn't know what's going on in a windowless house, the only windowless house on the street. Don't lie to me. All the little old biddies and all the little ladies and all those old men that stay at home, they all know what happens in the neighborhood. You be friends with those old people. They're like the neighborhood watch, and they will tell you what is going on. Seriously, good advice to have. Ask her about the neighborhood. Honda-san, how long have you lived here? How long? Hmm, for quite some time, actually. Honey, I swear to goodness, there is no way you have no idea what's going on. You are a liar. And I don't know why you're lying to me, but you're a liar. Liar. Pants on fire! Well, is the neighborhood nice? Nice? Oh, yes, quite. It's uh, very peaceful around here. That's good. Hey, Honda-san, do you happen to know who lives in that house? The other one next to mine? That us? I don't think anyone has lived there in a very long time. Oh, I just found it strange. It doesn't seem to have any windows. Quite odd, isn't it? It's been that way ever since we moved here, and no one seems to know who its owner is either. I see. Well, Honda-san, I have to go. There's still a lot of unpacking needed to be done. It's all right. Anything you need, dear, will just be right next door. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're a real help. You, you like, you have no idea why the price dropped on the house or anything? <sighs> that sound keeps freaking me out. It's just the cars outside in the game. I keep thinking that it's another sound, though. All right, so I think we still have to call Amara-san about the keys not working, right? Furukawa Housing. Amura speaking. Amura-san, this is Nami Matsuda. Oh, hello, Matsuda-san. How can I help you? Amura-san, I was trying to open a room with one of the keys you gave me, but no key works. Do you think you could have given me a wrong key by chance? Wrong key? Uh, I don't think so. I keep each house's set of keys separate. Are you sure the door's not just... stuck? Yeah, it's really locked. Strange. Maybe the previous tenant changed the lock and didn't say anything. Do you think that you can contact him? No, it's it's fine. I'll get someone to go over and open the door, and I skipped all the text. It's okay, though. I'll sum it up for you. So he was just saying that, no, yeah, he, he can't do anything at the moment. He could send someone out, though, if need be, if it was an emergency. And that's why Nami is saying, no, not really. I can wait. Thanks, Amara-san. No problem. Call again if you need anything. All right. It's getting late, and you still have work to do. It seems you have to leave the unpacking for tomorrow. No. You should go, go get to your room. So I did play this game 
like last year sometime and I didn't finish it. And I don't remember what happens, but I vaguely remember enough that it was scary and I don't want to be scared. <laughs> it's always worse when I am expecting to be scared, but it's okay, I can do it. I don't remember what happens, but I can do it. It's already dark, you should turn on the light. What if there's something in the dark? Oh, 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 that, oh, okay. Turn, turn it on, turn it on. Yes, I want to turn it on. Yay, it looks nice. Can I just go to bed like that? Yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed like that. Ah, it's dark. All right, that's one box down. And a lot more to go. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have expected anything the first night, but I'm still freaked out. Well, uh, let's see. This room's still locked. You wonder if what Amara-san said was true, if the previous tenant had changed the lock without saying anything. You also wonder if he left the key here somewhere. He did leave a lot of stuff behind. Oh, good. I bet you I know where his frickin' key is. Is it in this room? Where my shit should be, but instead it's the tenants? That's fine, whatever, though. Is it in here? I bet it's in the closet. Because if I have to look through all those freaking boxes, I swear to goodness, I'm gonna kick that person's butt. Yes! You- wait, no? You don't find any key. No, I have to look through all this stuff. A bunch of things the previous tenant left behind, look through it. Of course we're gonna look through his stuff because he left it behind, that dingleberry. That's right, he's a dingleberry. A bunch of things the previous tenant left behind. Look through it, yes! Maybe it's in this one. You don't find a key. Is it down here? Aha! We found the key! There are piles of books inside the closet. Looking closely, you notice one of them looks the slightest bit elevated. You lift the books one by one until you finally come across a metal key tucked away between two of the books. Obtained metal key. Let's hope it's the right key, otherwise I'll have to wait until Monday. Yeah, you know, let's just, let's just go into that locked room. It's getting dark already. How long was I in there? You weren't in there too long, I guess. But anyways, you know, seems like a real great idea that when the previous tenant has left all of their stuff behind, like they left in a hurry, and there's a room with a different lock on it. We're just, we're just gonna go in there by ourselves, you know? Like, totally can't be haunted or anything. Not at all. No, 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 no. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. But it's okay. Oh no, it's dark! Oh, okay. This is one thing I don't like. I know I have to use the, the light switches, but it's kind of hard for me to figure out where they are and where I am from the door. Like, if they could have a little light around the doorway, that'd be great so I could tell where I am versus where I am compared to the light. But that's okay. So light switch. Turn on the light. I mean, yeah. Oh, what? There's no sound. I don't like when there's no sound. It's a simple vase. There's nothing in- why would he change the lock? There's a bunch of junk inside the closet, maybe you can sort it out tomorrow. There's a bunch of junk inside. Just- just a table and chairs. And that's it. There's a window here, but it's all boarded up. Why is it like this? You tug in the boards, but they are firmly, albeit messily, pinned to the wall. You take a peek through the wooden boards. I don't want it. I don't want it. You can see the house next door from here, much like one of the windows in your bedroom. The difference, though, is that this one sits directly in front of another window. So that's... the house has a window after all. You try taking a look inside the other house, but it's pitch black inside. Maybe Honda-san was right, and no one lives there after all.
Well, I found the key to this room, but now I have to get rid of these boards. Should I get a nail puller or something? Although I don't think I own one. I guess I'll see to it tomorrow. It's getting late. No. No. I heard a noise, but I can't tell if that was in the game or out here. Could have been my puppy dog. Scratching at the door. Okay. Um... Maybe I can find a way to pry those boards out today, or should I just call Amara-san tomorrow? He can find an actual professional for that. Okay, so, you know, in most situations, you just... Call Amara-san. Is this a choice I can make? This... Let's call Amara-san. I'm gonna be responsible about this, because if I don't own a house and I want to do things to it, even if the previous tenant did something, like, I'd rather that the person that owns the house takes care of it, Personally, because then I don't get in trouble for anything and I don't want to pay for things. I just don't want to. You shouldn't bother Omar-san on Sunday. You can call him tomorrow. Well, I'm not waiting till tomorrow because I don't know how to make time change in this game. So we're just going to go do it ourselves, aren't we? Yep, here we go, Nami. You're so smart. No, don't look. Don't look, Nami. Please don't look. 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 You're looking. You're looking. You're looking. You're looking. You're looking. Ah, I hate that it's quiet in this room. It really is unsettling. Like, everywhere else, there's noise. There's the hum of the refrigerator. There's the hum of the, the cars outside. And then... Ugh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. I bet I know where tools are. Is this game intuitive? There's a bunch of junk inside the closet. Sort through it? Yes. Futons and boxes are piled up with assorted knickknacks stacked inside the boxes. There isn't anything particularly worthy, but it makes you wonder why the previous tenant left so much behind. When you asked about him, Amara-san only said that he had to leave because of an emergency and the details were private. At the beginning, you thought, well, even better. He left behind a fully furnished house for you to rent, and you didn't question it at the time. However, you wonder if you should have been more suspicious. Did he leave because of something private? Or was it something to do with the house? And most importantly, why did he never come back to get the stuff he left behind? I really need to stop second-guessing things. You spot something at the back of the closet. It's a wallet. You pick it up and look it over. It's really unsettling to me that there is no sound going on. You open it curiously, albeit expecting it to be mostly empty. It's not. There's money, an associate card for some place you don't know, a few recipes, and then there's also a handful of credit cards, an ID, and a driver's license, all belonging to one... Daisuke Sen? Who is this guy? Is he the previous tenant? Oh, I don't know, Nami. I mean, you know, we got all this stuff from the previous tenant just sitting here. In boxes still, mind you, so he probably had just moved in when something happened. Just like you, Nami. Just like you. Why would he leave his wallet behind? I guess I'll call Omara-san tomorrow and let him know I have this. Maybe he can contact this guy. Obtained wallet. I know that there's got to be a tool. Try not to waste time. Can I go to my neighbor? Yes! Neighbors are awesome to borrow tools from. <laughs> Maybe I can ask Honda-san if she has a nail puller. Yeah, that's nice. Um, let's see. Matsuda-san, what the brings you what the brings you here? I think I gave it a Minnesotan accent too, right? I do believe so. I, uh, can I ask you a favor? Of course! Do you happen to have a nail puller? A nail puller? I'm not quite sure. I have to look for it. May I ask why do you need it? Well, there's this window in the house and it's all boarded up. Boarded up? Yeah, I found out yesterday. It was inside a locked room on the second floor. Ask her about... The other house's window. Or Daisuke. I don't think she'd know anything about the other house window. So let's ask about Daisuke. Daisuke? Honda-san, does the name Daisuke-san seem familiar to you? Daisuke-san? Yes, of course. He used to live in your house before you. So you know him? Of course. He was a nicer young man. Never did find out what happened to him. 
What do you mean? I'm not sure. But he left one day and never came back. And then some time later, the house was up for rent again. Why do you ask? I actually found some documents of his inside. I thought maybe I could give it back. Do you know how I can contact him? I'm afraid or not. He and I didn't talk much. Oh, I see. Thank you. Oh, look. It's getting late. Let me see if I can find that nail polar for you. No, 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 Nami. No, 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 no. No, this is a terrible plan, Nami. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, yes, it was a little hard to find, but here it is. The nail puller looks extremely old. It's covered in rust and seems somewhat fragile. Will this do? Hantasan, are you sure you want me to lend? You want to lend this to me? I'm afraid I'm going to end up breaking it. It's quite all right. I insist. The nail puller looks like it'll break at the slightest force. You don't want to borrow something and end up breaking it. Take the rusty nail puller. Is this a choice I can make? Is this a choice in the game I can make? Because if it is, I want to know what happens if I don't take the nail puller. Is that wise? Let's see. I mean, can I say no? And then I just wait till the next day, right? I don't think it'll last long if I use it, Honda-san. I don't think I can take this. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. This thing's truly quite old, isn't it? Maybe it wouldn't even help. It's the only one we have, though. Ah, oh, don't worry, Honda-san. I'll get someone to help me out tomorrow. If you say so. Oh, look, it's almost time for dinner. We'll talk. We'll have to talk again some other time, Matsuda-san. Yeah, thank you for your time. Any time, my dear. Weird. Now what? Am I... Am I able to go to bed now? Like, what, what do I do? Do I just go to bed? Okay, so it looks like I gotta turn it on. Yeah, turning it on. Can I go to bed? End the day. Yeah. And on, oh. All right, work's done. I can get to other things now. And on that note, I'm going to leave this video right where it is. Thank you so much for watching my debut video of the Let's Plays that I'm going to be doing. Um, I have several of them in mind, including next one going to be Mermaid Swamp. Ladles and jelly spoons, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, throw a finger or a clicker on that like button and subscribe for more. Come back next week for the next video from next door. If you can't wait that long to see me, then hop on over to my website, arielwickland.com, to learn about my upcoming books, web comic, and future projects. Links are in the description. Later, lovely lizards!